Hey friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Muhammad Rizwan Khan and from today I'm starting a next year series, right? So it's been a month I have not created a video on my YouTube channel and I have got a couple of requests like create video about next year. So I thought why don't I see first on internet what's available, right? So here if you go and search like uh, YouTube right so mostly uh, my subscribers or viewers search something on YouTube right next JS tutorial and if you go and see check check over here so here thousands of results are available for next JS right so everyone is creating and everyone is doing amazing job right and there are some of my recommendation I will say if you really want to watch uh, everything from the scratch then I would really suggest uh, watch this guy like code evolution video he has has I have watched his uh, react series that was amazing so I'm guessing next days will be amazing right apart from that this cat mind video is also great and rest I really don't watch so here uh, I thought like why don't I create a next year series but in a different way right so I will be creating a project that is going to cover every basic and, ad and advanced feature of Next.js and here if you go and check this thing like this is what we are going to create so this project covers all the basic and advanced feature of Next.js plus everything so if you create this project then you can even create an e-commerce and every kind of uh, like gigantic or large websites with the help of this project right so let me show you what we uh, what is our goal and what we are going to finish in this series so here we have uh, different pages right this is the first page and this is uh, like a statically generated page then you can go to the user profile this is a logged in user click on this and this is the user profile here you here uh, user are getting few things like uh, the name of the person and then this the contact something like if you want him to write uh, content and this user has created these are the posts these are the news right if you go on this uh, view more then you can see this news uh, page right so they, they describe the story and everything right and this is a server side rendered page and uh, these the like the purpose of Next.js is mainly for server side rendering right if you want to create something and that needs to be ranked in Google that needs to be SEO friendly then Next.js is something which is which you can use without doing much. Right? So this is an inter introduction video and I will be explaining in this video like what we are going to cover in our upcoming videos. So here is our slide. Let's open that and okay it's cool. So Next.js right uh, basic uh, requirement is Node.js 12 or later and I would suggest use 14 to get rid of other errors like I have faced. Let's go and see why next chairs, right? So it's a production ready framework, right? So you don't have to do anything. It's almost zero configuration. You just start writing your business logic for your application and that's all you have to do. And you have to run some commands like uh, npm run build and then your production build will be ready. Now you have to host it. You can choose different platforms like uh, Linux based platform or uh, Next.js special recommended like Varsal you can use for the hosting of your application, right? <laughs> production uh, production optimized code with code splitting, right? So if you use uh, like traditional React, so for that uh, what what it does it creates a bundle.js file for your project, and if your application is very large, then your bundle size will be very large, and uh, then your user has to wait. Till the bundle finish its loading right once the bundle loaded completely then only user can see something on the page right because that is not server-side render and client is waiting for the JavaScript to be finished once JavaScript finished then only uh, things will be created on the screen so code splitting feature we have in this next chest and we are, we are not doing anything for that and the very advanced feature and that that's why Next.js is very popular that's a pre-rendering so Next.js provides you different types of uh, rendering strategy right you can do the static rendering you can do the server-side rendering both uh, both are amazing and we will be covering all types of rendering in our project then Next.js also provides uh, API routes to build API endpoints so you don't have to have a additional server 
and if you don't have an additional server then you don't have to take care of cars and different types of issues right uh, nextjs is providing something built in that you can use as a server and you can connect your server your like api endpoints with the database and do the authentication get the post and lots of other stuffs right client side routing with optimized prefetching right so like any other react application once the bundle uh, loaded then uh, react takes control and everything will be very smooth just like uh, any uh, mobile applications right it will not make requests to the server because everything is already loaded and it's just show everything in a matter of like even uh, less than a seconds right then also with nextjs we have built in css support sas support that's a pre processor for css and uh, any other javascript and uh, css based library is supported in nextjs very easily so this is uh, this is why we are going to use nextjs and this is very good if you want to create an application and that needs to be ranked in google pages of that application needs to be ranked in google right so there are some thing few things we need to understand what page needs to be uh, seo friendly and what not there uh, if your application have ha, has a sign up page or login page do you think your sign up or login page needs to be uh, ranked in google no of course not your content page needs to be ranked in google right so we have just seen a blog right there are some pages there are some lists that is not necessary to be ranked in google what's matter is your content page your post your news needs to be ranked in the google right so that page needs to be seo friendly every page doesn't need to be as friendly right so you can create client side rendering approach you can use client side rendering approach in that places so dynamic routing right so what a page in react page is nothing but a react component and exported from the pages directory few things are like prefix in nextjs like pages you can't change this name if you change then you will be messed up so pages directory and whatever the component default export component will be inside your pages directory will be considered as a page right each page is associated with a route based on its file name so whatever the page name uh, you are going to give that is going to be used as a routing and that is called dynamic routing next two forms of pre rendering Th this is why nextjs is getting popularity so there are two forms of pre rendering like static generation that is the recommended approach and what happens here basically when you build your application it creates a page for you html page for you and that page will be reused instead of recreating again and again right and the second approach is server side rendering the here the page will be not pre generated here every time on each request a page will be created on the server and then after it will be served on the client so the first one is recommended because and uh, first one is recommended it's because it is fast but we cannot achieve everything with this uh, recommended approach because there are uh, sometimes like uh, when you are in a user profile right everyone's profile is different we cannot have a static page for a user right i want to see my profile you want to see your profile and other users want to see their profile instead of a static page right so there we cannot use uh, uh, the static generation we have to use server side rendering next pre rendering data fetching uh, functions so these are the functions uh, we have just discussed right different types of rendering so these are the predefined built in functions in nextjs like the first one is get static props used in a static generation get static paths again used in static generation and we will be seeing both of them in the project another one is get server side props that's a server side rendering right so here uh, in the static props data can be fetched during build time so once you build your project during the building of your project your page will be created and that page will be served right here you can use st get static paths to get the parameters for that page so you will get to know if i discuss now it will not make no make no sense next we have so here uh, authentication using json web token right so this is not next phase but uh, yeah for every application we need authentication right maintaining authentication is little bit easier in react because there is no server side rendering approach you have to maintain the uh, session of the user in the client only right with the help of uh, jwt token but uh, when it comes to the next js or any uh, server based application where it involves both server and client side then maintaining a user session both in client and server side 
will be difficult, right? Uh, so for that, we have um, a library from Next.js that's a Next auth, and we are going to use Next auth to create the JSON web token and maintaining that token in both client and server side for the validation of the user. Next, we have state management, right? So kind of like we are coming from the React and uh, we are very familiar with the uh, with the state management tools right like redux is one of the very popular so in nextjs also we can do the state management we can create a global store we can use the existing react hooks api uh, like uh, context api such as uh, create context use context to create the store and then we can use user redu reducer to globally expose that context to every component right so we don't have to use any additional library like redux if we are using react hooks next we are gonna build and deployment so we can use different platform for the build uh, for the deployment of our application build can be done anywhere in your local system or in the server that is fine so deployment, we can use some platforms like uh, AWS or DigitalOcean or Varsal. Um, there are platforms, right? So we are going to use uh, DigitalOcean and we will be uh, seeing in Varsal also. So that's all about uh, this introduction video. Hopefully, if you have any doubt or question, just let me know in the comment section of this video. So I will be considering that thing in my upcoming videos. Okay. So if you think this video is helpful and if you want to dive in this project then please share and subscribe and let everyone know about this project thank you for watching